Today we're going to talk about property taxes. Are they constitutional? Where does the federal government get its authority? Where does the state government get its authority? Where does the county government get its, get its jurisdiction? Can any government lawfully collect property taxes? This message is prepared and distributed by the Texian American Nationals of the Republic of Texas. We are committed to restoring truth, freedom, and justice to our land. We want to restore the government to a lawful body that does the one thing a government of a free people is supposed to do. That is to protect the liberties of the people. When any system of law or government is perverted from this purpose into one of violating the liberties of the people, it becomes a system of legalized plunder. We want the plundering of the people to stop. We desire freedom for all the people of Texas, not just ourselves. In short, we want to be free as our forefathers intended and indeed died for. We have been called anti-government, quote, end quote. This is patently false. We know the people need representatives to perform certain functions to guarantee their liberty, and that is all we want. A government that operates within its delegated boundaries and the law the people set forth. The Texian Creed. I do not choose to be a common man. It is my right to be uncommon. I thrive on challenges to develop whatever talents God gave me, not security. I do not wish to be kept a citizen, humble, dull, and fearful, because I am cared for by the state. I want to take this calculated risk to dream and build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to barter incentive for a dole. Meeting the challenges of life far outweighs the tedium of a government existence. The thrill of fulfillment to the state calm of utopia. I will not trade freedom for benevolence or my dignity for a handout. I will never cower before any earthly master nor head nor bend to any threat. It is my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to think and act according to God's laws. Enjoy the benefits of my creations to face the world boldly and say this, with God's help have I done. This is what it means to be a Texian sovereign living soul. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when there's a new upload. Here's the front page of the channel. The uh, bottom arrow is pointing at the subscribe button that's normally red until you uh, click on it. And this one uh, turns white after you subscribe. And the, the right one uh, is the arrow. Uh, the, the top arrow is pointing to the bell. Now, the bell doesn't show up until after you click the subscribe button, and then the bell will show up. And that way you can be notified of new uploads. Where do governments get their authority? Have you ever considered this question? It is most certainly one we should know the answer to. Governments have only one source from which to derive authority or power to do anything from the people. The United States government and the Texas state government were established for one primary purpose, to secure the blessings of liberty for the people. They were established by the God-given authority of the people. Government was to exist only to serve and protect the people. One well-established maxim of law in that one can only delegate jurisdiction that one possesses. Thus, the government can only possess authority lawfully given to it by the people who lawfully have it. Does any one of the people have the authority or right to impose a tax upon the private property of another? 
The answer is simply no. Therefore, if the people do not have the right to tax each other's property, they could not have delegated power to tax private property to the government. And in fact, they did not. The first property tax in Texas was imposed by law by the legislature of the Republic of Texas in 1841. A law was passed allowing the taxing of property owned by bankers. Our research shows to date that this law has never been repealed or changed. Only the wording has changed in subsequent publications of the law to say, quote, that property that is subject to tax, end quote. This simply means banker's property, end quote. The whole secret to how property taxes are levered and imposed on people's property today is very simple. Property owned by the people is not considered to be private property. It is not listed on the tax rolls or recorded with the county as private property. In fact, all property recorded with the county recorder's office is not even listed in the name of the one who thinks they own it. It is listed under a legal fiction for which the supposed owner is presumed to be a surety or fiction. Uh, check out our other videos and playlists, uh, Republic of Texas RT documentary, Texas and other American states is under a military occupation, uh, the Republic of Texas Forum of 2016, and uh, describe the kind of people who would thrive in independent Texas. And so check them out. What is an ad valorem tax? According to Black's Law Dictionary, ad valorem tax is a tax imposed on the value of property or article of commerce in proportion to its value. Is your home involved in commerce? No, it is not. How does it get into commercial taxation? By being listed as real estate or agricultural property under the ownership of a legal fiction. The most astonishing fact about the collection of property taxes in Texas today is that the Constitution was amended in 1982 to abolish ad valorem taxes on property. The Texas Constitution, Article 8, Section 1E states, and I quote, no state ad valorem taxes shall be leveled upon any property within this state, end quote. Amended November 2nd. 1982. So where do counties and other entities get their jurisdiction to impose and collect ad valorem taxes on the property of the people? This is a question that you might want to ask someone in your local taxing office. There is no lawful authority for ad valorem taxes in Texas. Since counties and municipalities are political subdivisions of the state and the state, according to the Constitution, does not have the authority to levy ad valorem taxes on any property in Texas, from what source is the county's jurisdiction derived? The answer is quite simple. They do not have jurisdiction. The taxing scheme is a fraud it is extortion being perpetrated upon the people of Texas to fatten the coffers of the state and the pockets of its officials. Recently, Governor Abbott has called a special session for the reforming property taxes. Because of taxes being collected are out of control. How do they reform a tax that is clearly unlawful and unconstitutional? Why not abide by the Constitution and eliminate it entirely? Another important fact for everyone to know is that you are never told about the surplus of billions hidden in the CAFRA and ACR considered as the second and third set of books. These yearly accounts are only the tip of the iceberg of the real surplus. According to years of comprehensive annual financial reports, CAFR, available from the Office of Comptroller 
all counties and cities has had a surplus of trillion plus dollars. This is something seriously wrong when a government branch without jurisdiction creates taxes that steal the people's substance for their own purposes and return only a small portion in services for the people. Our blog is uh, texasrepublic.wordpress.com. Our website is thetexasrepublic.com. Our email address is oneyellowroseenterprises at gmail.com. Our YouTube profile is, uh, this is the link, uh, because uh, YouTube doesn't allow us to have a customized URL until we have over a certain number of subscribers. And follow us on Twitter at, te at Texas Republic for you and at We Are Texians. If you'd like to know, have more information about the Republic of Texas and other um, messages that we have and other things that we're doing to help the people, you can contact us at our, our information line is 1-888-605-4528 or 1-888-656-5515. Our internet web page is www.thetexasrepublic.com. Our email address is reptx777 at att.net. Let me leave you with this quote. Life, liberty, and property do not exist because men have made laws. They are not given to the people by a constitution. They have existed since God created the earth and endowed man with his rights. Quote, God is the supreme lawgiver and his is the supreme law of the land. End quote. Thank you for the t taking the time to listen to this message. Please share it with your friends and family and please check our website out.